Ukrainian children singing carols in a safe house. These are some of the hundreds of kids of war that Susan Matheson and her fellow volunteers are flying over to help for a second Christmas. We want to make it as joyful as we can and try to make the best of a tough situation. Common Man for Ukraine, a New Hampshire-based nonprofit, is making its eighth trip to Ukraine, providing humanitarian aid and trauma counseling to children. Most have lost at least one parent and have no idea what has become of their home. The money is raised here in the U.S. and used in Poland and Ukraine to buy supplies, everything from fresh food to sleeping bags and generators. And the Rotary Clubs in Poland and Ukraine are our team of volunteers, a miraculous group of people. They deliver the goods every single week, truck by truck by truck, safe house by safe house. It costs $44 a month to feed a child, about $1,000 a month to provide trauma care. Currently, Common Man is assisting over 760 children. This trip, there will also be candy and presents and handmade peace dolls, a gift from a church group in Laconia. These came from um, some ladies who didn't feel they had any money, so they crocheted over 250 so far. This latest mission comes as Ukrainian President Zelensky meets with President Biden and Congress, urging lawmakers to approve supplemental funding for Ukraine, including humanitarian, financial and military support. We hope that President Zelensky gets all the help he needs. In the meantime, politics aside, we're here for kids. This trip will last three days and involve visits to 17 safe houses in 10 Ukrainian cities. You can find out how to help on our mobile app and website. At Logan, I'm Mary Salatna, WCDV News Center 5.